a picture of my grandmother on her wedding day. My grandmother as she looks today. And then the soft sculpture doll I made of my grandma, a caricature of my grandma. <laughs> my grandma likes to do needlepoint and likes to make jelly and she has treats for the birds and I thought it was kind of cute. <laughs> the rest of the bedrooms are kind of full of like a lot of stuff because what grandma doesn't have room for downstairs she just brings up here so kind of some of these rooms it's kind of like they're like storage rooms. Looking around one of my favorite things which I've always liked are these pink lamps of my grandma's. You know, if I could pick something from the house here, if I could just pick one thing, I think I would I would take these pink lamps. I don't know what the story is behind them, but I think they're real neat. my grandma's backyard. There's just a few peonies that are left over that I'm going to try to salvage and bring home with me. You know, grandma's yard is famous for having these great weeping birch trees. That's really the highlight of the outdoor part of her house. You know, inside, up in my grandma's bedroom, hangs a poster that I made for her that says, Grandma, you have sown flowers along the side roads of my life. And that really is true. And I'm really lucky to have shared 30 years of my life, 30 years worth of wonderful memories here in my grandmother's house. We have with us one of my one of my longtime high school and junior high friends, John Curlin. Welcome to my craft show. Hi, Mark. <laughs> and John, well, my first experience with John, I didn't actually know him when I was in grade school, but my, the first time I knew John Curlin was when we both auditioned for the play The Sound and Music at Mayville State College. And we were both auditioning for the kids' parts. We were both like in sixth grade, but we didn't know each other at this point because we lived in different towns. And John, John got the part, and I didn't. So that was my first experience with John Perlin. I hated him. <laughs> well, I invited John to be on my craft show today to, and tell us about how to make a sandbox. John made a sandbox for his daughter, Audra, who's four years old? Three and a half. Three and a half. How did you make a sandbox? If one of our viewers is going to make a sandbox, what, what do they need to know? Well, they need the dimensions of the size of the sandbox first. And I went by a four foot square sandbox. Uh, so, you, what you have to do is you gotta go out and buy the wood to build it. I used two by six boards, eight feet, two of them, eight feet long, and just cut them in half, that gave me my four feet for each side. And then you just connect the sides together, the corners. Uh, two, three nails on each corner, they're about two and a half inch nails. Get all the corners together. Now you got your four by four sandbox. And now you have to use, put the bottom on. Oh, there is a bottom on a sandbox. There's, well, yeah, this the sandbox has a bottom. I figured it would keep the sand in there, right? And that way I don't have to run out every summer and get sand, which is a big process. You know, you got to load it yourself. And where do you get the sand? We have a lot of sand pits in Apple Valley where I live. John lives near Minneapolis, Minnesota. So uh, you want to get, uh, what I got is four foot square particle board, three quarter inch thick. And then you just lay it on top of the boards. It fits right, you know, right in place. And you just go around and pound three, four nails across each four foot board. Flip your sandbox over, fill it with sand. Now you have a four foot square sandbox. And Andre must love it. She does. <laughs> Did she help you build it? No, she was taking a nap, yeah. Uh -huh. I it, so. <laughs> but when she came out, she was all surprised. 
Yeah. And then she asked me, where's the sand? I, you know. Oh, so you made the sandbox so there was no sand in it. That's right. Well, how long did it take you to get the sand? Uh, about three hours oh. later, because I had no, <laughs> no idea how I was going to get the sand to the sandbox. And my brother-in-law came over with his trailer and we filled it up with sand. And then there's no way of getting in my backyard with a vehicle, so we had to haul it with pels. So. And is, is like you can get gravel or you can get sand. I would assume that sand is more expensive the finer it is. Yeah, I'm sure it is. It's, yeah. I just got the basic sand. sand. <laughs> you know, they have big sand pits in Apple Valley and the town, you know, so. Just, um, we just got the most inexpensive sand we could get. <laughs> and hey, a little girl doesn't know the difference. So that's all it took. All right, well. So that's how you make a sandbox, so thanks for being on. Thank you. <laughs>
have it made. They're gorgeous. They have great music, great, great poetry. Great all that set of okay. I love when I heard. I love the group. I think they do a wonderful job. They're sincere. They're honest. They're great. And uh, the singer has a wonderful voice. The other men are all fine musicians. I think it's a great group. It was great. I really enjoyed it. They have a lot of uh, lot going for them. They're going to be great. <laughs> I just thought they were wonderful. They were very Boston, very Led Zeppelin, very hairspray. I really, really enjoyed them. I was a member of the band whose name is, I'm sorry, tell me your name, your name again. Matthews of Matthews. What, what kind of guitar were you playing? Uh, and how long have you been playing that? Uh, five or six do you play any other musical instruments? Uh, now, my show is called Mind Craft Show. And it usually do crafts on my show. Do you do any craft projects? Side to side? Um, I don't play much further. So this is your main craft of my style. Oh, that's great. You always wear the hat, is that like yeah, your great one? Nice. It's a new haircut, so I'm trying to hide the haircut. Your haircut hiding. Alright, well thanks for being on my show. Nice to meet you. Alright. Now we're with the lead singer. Well, I call him first, but I guess on stage they call him Dak, right? Dak, sure for Dakota. So how does it feel to make your return to Minecraft show? <laughs> it's great, great. I have the world's smallest apartment. We're seeing two sides of me. We're seeing us. So I Oh, is it hard to remember like all the words tonight? <laughs> no, no, it wasn't hard enough. And you guys write some of the songs too, right? We write all of them. All the songs are written. Right. Now, why don't we have Mike step in here? Mike, you also Mike wrote, you wrote a lot of the songs, right? We wrote many really songs. Yes. So what kind of guitar were you playing? I was playing a kick guitar. That, did you, did I you, didn't make that guitar. How did you happen to... He's chewing me up for his craft shirt because I made guitars, but I didn't make that guitar. <laughs> how did you happen to pick the pink one? That was really very pink. Because I tried to pick the guitar that would clash with any clothes I could possibly wear, except for black. <laughs> And you are crafty. You like your you also bring your car. Stay in my car. You have to bring your craft show down for free. And you make you make the cars. You have yeah. one that's shaped like a I saw one that's shaped like that's a star. star. I never seen a very creative. Well, let's have Chris step in here. Right. I had trouble getting shots of you on and you are all for shadow. So now, we get, the, uh, now we get a good shot of Chris here. Why did you, what did you say? Yeah, I got that. Yeah. 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 Yeah.